Hi and welcome back to another Magical Voxel Quick Cuts video. In this one I will show you how to create simple wood texturing that you could use in your scenes. Let's go ahead and get started. So first thing you want to do is open up a new project and I'm just going to take this simple cube and um, go ahead and, and shave it down to like a wood plank. What we have here and we can go to palette 3 so we can make our own custom colors and go ahead and choose two colors that you think closely resemble the color of wood. Once you find the colors, holding control and alt on your keyboard, left click one of the colors and drag it to the other side so you can create a gradient. Now you can left click and drag to select the colors that you've created press right click on the mouse and click random you can see it applies to the object we have here and using the region select we can go ahead and select the colors here and hitting control C to copy and control V to paste you can drag the colors outwards and create lines in the wood. Once you have about that done, you can take a look at the image here and see if you need to change any of the colors. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Now that I have a wood plank that kind of looks like wood, we can go ahead and create a new color and make this dark so that this resembles like the crack in the wood or the outline for the wood plank and just outline the uh, wood plank we have here and then pressing this button it uh, fits the model size so we don't have that big block and so when we press tab to go into world view and drag it out we can have this cool looking wood texture for flooring. can also um, change the material for the wood so if you wanted to not reflect any light per se um, you can keep it by default which is the fuse but wood sometimes has a little bit of a shine to it so you give it a little bit of reflectiveness and a lot of roughness and it makes so if I add a light source like this, I can easily decipher how much shine the wood needs to be, depending on what I want. If I want it to, to be like laminate, you can decrease the roughness and increase the ROR, and it becomes more of like a laminate type flooring. But if you want it more like traditional hardwood, you can um, decrease the ROR and increase the roughness so you have something like this. And that's pretty much it. I hope this short video has helped you create some simple wood. And I'll see you all in the next one.